Hello everybody, Dark Phoenix Engine 92 here, and welcome back to Let's Play Skyrim with Elia, Janassa, and Ace. Last time we left off, we just killed the bandit leader over here in Ritaran's retreat. And we're going to head on back to Whiterun to turn in the bounty for the paltry hundred gold that bandit leaders are worth these days. I swear, what is it with inflation in Skyrim? And these days, it's getting kind of ridiculous. You must be stopped. You'd think that a bandit it leader and the person running their little outfit would be worth a little more than a hundred gold. Apparently not. Because that's what we get for them. It can be a nightmare. And anyways, we are going to turn in this bounty, sell some of the loot that we've picked up off of this particular bandit leader, and after that, well, we'll see. I haven't actually planned that far ahead, honestly. I just know that we're going to do that and then see what we would feel like doing. Getting towards evening time, though, it might be a good idea after we turn that in and sell our loot to head back to Elias' cabin near Riverwood. Take stock of everything and all that. We can never rest easy. We have a dead thingamal what's it here. It's Sabercat. Ah, what's this? We have the Kashyyyk caravan hanging out around here, so How can I assist? Might be able to sell my loot here. Let's see. Well, that's that little bit of selling done. Now let's see what our horse has got on him. Small leather tent bedroll, and for which side? And our friend here has something that I'm after. A small fur tent. We're eventually going to be doing some hanging out in the colder areas of Skyrim. So that will be quite handy, I think. And fur crafting kit. I think so. 
be able to make our own fur cloaks and stuff. I hope that you will come to do business with us again. I thought about buying the Alembic, but I don't actually know how it works. Even though I know it, you use it to make potions in the field, I don't know anything more than that. I want to figure out how the Alembic works before I splash nearly 2,000 septums on the thing. Now, though, I'm going to take the time to check my stuff. A few things I'm going to want to sell. That orcish mace being one of them. Looks like that is basically it. I want to see what our companions have that they're carrying for me. We've apparently turned Ace into a pack rat. Let's deal with that. Ace, why do you have all these books? We're one of the same kind, you and I. I'm glad to have met you, if that Let's is trade. what you wish. There we go. Let's go. You can keep the cloak. Because I'm going to head into the market over here and sell my massive amount of troll meat. Because this is Skyrim after all, and they eat some weird crap. Azura, mother of roses, so troll meat certainly wouldn't be too far off from some of the things that they probably eat in Skyrim. So I imagine we can get a little honey for it, and even if we can't, then I'll get it out of my damn inventory. That's always nice. And I'm back. Sorry for the pause, but my door decided to mysteriously drift open for absolutely no reason. And I had to address that. Anyhow. Huh, Anoria. Fresh from the wild. Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. I have a little something for you. A lot of somethings, in fact. Particularly I have raw troll meat. Which, none of it's worth a damn thing. I'm not gonna eat this, so... Have it. Good hunting. Now we'll head on up to Jarl's Powerless and turn in this bounty as fast as we can. And then I will sell my loot, provided it's not too late by that point. Now, I 
Princess. Ah, there you are. I serve Jarl Balgrub as the bandit's dead. Excellent. You've done us a great service. Here is your reward. Why oh, you pompous little shit? Enjoy your visit to Dragon's We Reach. could spend five grand on Don't getting ourselves another house. This time, you're in White Run, but no. I have more important things to do with our money, like hoard it all. More to the point, we don't actually have much of anything we want to spend our money on, and... The house here in Whiterun, while from a player perspective it's rather nice, it's not really any better than the one that Elia already has, so I have no reason from a in-game or in-character perspective to want a new house. But we're not gonna bother with that. Upping my equipment and getting better at blacksmithing on the other hand, I might consider doing that. God damn it, Ace. I want you to stop that. Take a good look around. I'm sure you'll find what you're looking for. Have you met my father? Looking to protect yourself? Okay. Well, that's my blacksmithing done for now, and I'm going to have cut that out. We managed to level up, so time to do something with that. A little more in stamina, I think. And now... Now... We're going to start taking some more points in smithing. And start improving our ability to make shit, basically. And out into Skyrim we go. We Alright, horsey. Have my fur tent. And most of this stuff as well, actually. Oh yeah, and all the books. All of them. Special arrows and special bolts can go. All those, and now get on. Start hunting this wolf over near my place of residence. And having made this journey a couple of times in the past, I can say with certainty it's going to be rather boring. So I will edit out the bulk of this journey. And you will see me again when we have arrived. Or at least I'll do that once I get us on the right path. I actually want to start with us heading in the right direction for when I edit this out. So yeah, we're heading the right way now, so see you when we arrive.
Cadlus say that Helgen was destroyed by one of those creatures. Didn't eat a soul alive, I said. And here we are, at the location of the goat that we seek. But now, you'll have to give me a second. Fresh, click on fresh kill, manual loot. The kill is fresh. Wolf tracks in blood lead up the mountain pass up as though prey was dragged away. I should follow them. And now I should restore Hunterborn to its fully functional state. as indicated by prompt. <coughs> Hungry, slightly thirsty, and slightly tired. I'll have some bread and water. Now, we have to find and kill this wolf. The tracks lead up the mountain path, it seems. So, let us find out where our prey has gone. We shall soon see. Yes, I am, Janasa. I'm looking for a wolf. Not just any wolf, but a very particular wolf. A well-placed word, or a well-placed dagger, both can achieve equal purpose. Hmm. Let us see. Some of you Who is be this now? And stop pushing me out of the way. Oh, I didn't realize you guys were going to be assholes about this. Oops, that's me falling down a bit. Sorry, Janassa. Sorry. Oh. That's where you're hanging out, is it? I don't care about your submission. I care about your corpse. And that sounded kind of wrong. Doesn't make it untrue, though. Now, we need to run back up here. And take a coin purse or two for our I don't own. know about this dragonborn business, but I'm sure glad you're with us. Looks like that other coin purse has gone MIA. And another book to read later. And I'll 
take a little more of that. Now back down to here, and we shall call for Horsey. We'll call for the horse. Stay focused, Janasa. We're looking for a wolf. Remember, wolf. Hey. I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Bunch of guilt. to keep looking. We need to find ourselves a wolf. A very specific wolf. Okay, I'm calling bullshit on that. That was not anything resembling an actual leap of any significance, so we're reloading, and I don't care what you think. To open the Most console. people in Skyrim don't care for Dunma. But Are you looking for something? I think we've spent enough time looking around tonight. Plus it's getting a little bit on the late side. To head into our cabin and get some rest. And here we are. Home sweet home. Hey there, Lydia. Glad to see no one's broken in while we've been away. Glad to see it. 
all we know about this wolf thing is um, their tracks leading up the mountain path. But as far as we can tell, there's nothing urgent about finding this wolf, so... I think our objectives will have to shift a little bit. And so, I'm going to go and see the Jarl of Falkreath. That's over there tomorrow. Don't get too far ahead. He did express a desire to speak to Elia about, among other things, the possibility of owning a home. And our family heirlooms are still where we left them. But we're going to go to Falkreath and pay a visit to the Jarl. That's our next order of business. But before that... It's breakfast time. Breakfast of bread... And cheese... And water. Like our previous journey yeah, over to visit the Greybeards, Falkreath is just a stone's throw away pretty much, so there's not actually any need for us to stock up on supplies. Obviously not the wolf we were hunting, seeing as we didn't get any quest indication or anything of that nature. But we're going to head over to Falkreath now. And other things, I am hoping to pick up a couple of quests over there and have a chance to explore the local area. Because Falkreath surely has some old ruins that need clearing out, and there's got to be some treasure to be had in a venture like that. Okay, fine. Hey, I did back off though. The hell. Okay, so these people are going to be assholes. I will hurt you. With arrows. From long range. Now die. There we go. You see what happens when you attack us, even after we did what you asked and backed off? I mean, I don't know why I'm surprised that they just ignored that little bit. I mean, they are bandits after all, and bandits have 
no conscience, conscience or remorse, as we all know. And they're kind of assholes too, in most cases, especially Skyrim bandits. Or Elder Scrolls bandits in general, I guess is a better way to put that. Now we have some loot that needs to get dumped on you. There we go. And now, Elia, I should have done this sooner. Put on a backpack. That way, we can loot their place without having to worry about running out of inventory space. A treasure map. I'll make use of these eventually, but it's not on my priority list. Not even a little bit. I will take what septums you have lying around, though. And your mage robes. There we go. That camp's been picked clean of all manner of loot. So we will continue on towards Falkreath. Oh, wolves. Oh, damn. And there are a bunch more of them sticking around. This is what we call a pain in the ass. We're just going to ignore the bloody wolves and head on towards Falkreath. Towards the City of the Dead, or what? Oh wait, that's that underground place that Aragon gets the ghosts from. My bad. Easy to make that mistake, isn't it? Falkreath apparently has a big ass cemetery, so the two places have a lot in common. And now, on final approach to our favorite cemetery of heroes, or whatever they call the damn place, in Skyrim. Well, well. You actually did what you said you were going to do. Oh, yes, Janassa, I took us to Falkreath when I said I was going to take us to Falkreath. Shocking, I know. Falkreath discovered, and we make our grand entrance into the city of dead people. Ain't it grand? Not really. Actually, it's fairly 
uninspired and just generally a generic random place of no real importance. But we have a meeting with the Jarl to get to. So let's try to not keep him waiting, shall we? And I'm back. After the game crashed, I had to go all the way back to my last save, which was last night before we returned to our house when I was still on the hunt for that wolf. And now, I did the entire journey back to Falkreath because there was no point in having you sit through it again. So, here's Elia for the second time, making our grand entrance into Falkreath. The next hold on our visit all the holds in Skyrim and kill random things in there to get loot, etc, etc, list. Yes, I visited Falkreath. I know. Isn't it astonishing? Hmm. I hear another person from interesting NPCs. Let's we'll check that out after we say hi to the Jarl. And now I'm saving. Because I'm paranoid. The game will crash again. Because it crashed last time I was talking yes. to him. What is it that you want? Yeah. You're the Jarl, I imagine. Guessing based on the chair and position. In fact, it's the same sort of chair as Balgroves always did again. I got the letter you sent. I'm Elia. Nice to meet you. Ah, it's you. Yes, well, now we'll see if the stories about you are you true. You mean, can I really absorb There's a dragon's a soul? In my or am I really the best archer in all of Valenwood? The cut they were Probably the first one. First. But now, now it's time to clean things up. Go and take care of it. Alright, I'll kill your Good. former bandit associates for you. Execute every last I'll bandit. Go Spare mine. No. Ah. Where is this mine? That you want me to clear out. Over here, eh? Well, that's quite the distance away, but it is early morning. Might as well. So, oh, let's get going then. We have a mind to clear out the bandit scum. Best way uh, to spend a Tuesday, am I right? Clearing mines out of bandits. And I think I caught the back end of a funeral there. We'll have to come back later and see what that's all about. Because funeral. This ruin, I'll also have to come back to later because we want to visit all of these places. For various reasons, among which is the fact they tend to contain loot and plunder, which we can sell for a nice little profit back in the towns. Which is why I'm going around revealing a bunch of them. Because I can then explore them, and we are getting away from there. Like, now. As it contains those things. Those spriggans, which I tend to have difficulties with, just based on the fact that they are very hard to kill.
Wait, is that a dog just wandering around? And I'm back. Sorry about that, everyone, but the game crashed on me. Which, this is Skyrim, so you will get the occasional crash and all. But, I think this is a good place to end uh, this particular session of Skyrim. Got a decent amount done, bounties, etc, etc. And I now have my mission from the Jarl of Falkreath to go here and clear out some bandits. Though why he needs us to clear them out rather than doing it his fucking self, I don't know. But anyways... Next time we're going to be doing some exploration of Falkreath Hold. Check out a few areas. And see what kinds of things we have. Have to do around here. And after Falkreath... After we're done in Falkreath, I think we're going to head on over to Rorikstead. Explore that little area and then head on to Morthal for the main quest to pick up the horn of Jurgen Windcaller. So, until next time, folks, thank you very much for watching. And please leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe to see more like this. I'll s and I will see you next time. Until then, folks. Until then. So long for now.